Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today we're in Matthew chapter 7, verse 6, where Jesus says these words. Do not give to dogs that which is sacred. And do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet and then turn and tear you to pieces. These two sentences from Jesus occur only here in Matthew. None of the other Gospels record them. And they're strange and obscure words, aren't they? We think, well, what are the pearls you're talking about, Jesus? And who are the dogs and the pigs that we should avoid them? Well, perhaps the clue is in the context. We looked a couple of weeks ago, didn't we, at the passage immediately preceding this, where Jesus um, tells those with planks in their eyes not to try and help those with specks in theirs. And perhaps Jesus today is addressing the other person in that equation, is addressing the person with a speck in their eye who is seeking the assistance or help from another believer in terms of removing it or dealing with it. Uh, maybe it's a sin or a weakness or a struggle or a burden and they know they need help from God but perhaps through the mediation of another person. And Jesus perhaps is saying here in this passage, be careful who you choose to carry out that sacred task with you. Don't choose somebody who's going to be incentive insensitive who's going to trample all over that and all over you and your feelings don't uh, entrust it to somebody who might use that against you and tear you to pieces in the long run but instead choose somebody who's wise and sensitive and good and gentle and discreet somebody who understands how sacred a thing this is and uh, the wonderful metaphor Jesus uses of course is of the pearl and you think about it, it's a really fitting metaphor because a, a pearl is formed when a, a bit of grit or grain of sand gets into a place it shouldn't be, into the oyster shell, um, either through natural causes or through a pearl farmer who's put it there. And over time, that irritant is coated with nacre or mother of pearl, the tears of the oyster, and it becomes a beautiful jewel. And uh, perhaps Jesus here, in using this analogy, is talking of those sacred things that we share. Maybe the, the sins or the faults or the weaknesses or the burdens or the troubles that we struggle with, the irritants in our soul. And as we share that as we, with God in prayer and as we share it with another gracious person or a group of people we can trust, um, that irritant, that sin, is transfigured um, through prayer and through the presence of the Spirit into a thing of beauty, an instance of grace, an epicentre of God's love in action. Um, so perhaps this week the challenge is to think about who we communicate our innermost things to. Who would it be wise to entrust those things to, to give our, pet, our pearls to? And also to be mindful of what we do with the pearls that others entrust to us, those sacred communications of self. Are we honouring them? Are we treating them graciously and gently in the way of Christ?